Our body doesn't respond to movement, it responds to demand. It's an adaptation and efficiency machine. And if it doesn't get the right signal, it starts to let go of what you're not using, including muscle. Let's go back inside the MPS room. The hidden construction site inside of every single muscle that you have and better understand what's happening. Your actions every day determine how many workers are sent to the MPS room to help rebuild what you break down. And if you're not sending enough signal, you're not sending enough workers. And that only happens when the muscle experiences enough stress to say, hey, I need help, get in here. You must understand this concept. Even if your protein intake is perfect every day, that will not result in preserving, repairing, and growing muscle without more workers. Let's break it down with real life examples so you better understand this. Walking, we always hear about how good walking is for you, and it is, but how many workers are added because of the stress of walking? Zero. How long will those workers stay there? Zero, none. So the body's message is no tension, no damage, nothing to rebuild, don't send any workers. So you just have your two baseline workers in the MPS room. Great for your heart, not enough for your muscles to grow. That's why walking alone never prevents, prevents muscle loss over time, it just doesn't. Yoga and light resistance training. That would add somewhere between one and two workers to your baseline workers to every single MPS room in your body. When you activate the MPS room, the workers will stay, you know, 12, 15 hours because the body feels a little bit of stress from that, that activity, but not enough to trigger minor repair. It's a touch up. It's not a transformation. High intensity inner training or HIT. How many workers are added? Three or four now because this demand and intensity is infinitely greater. So the body has to adapt. So the workers have to stay longer. They're gonna stay somewhere between 16 and 24 hours to ensure that all the extra workers are there to help repair now the damage that has been done. They're able to put more Lego blocks together and build and repair more protein because they have more workers and they're there for more time. So every time you turn on MPS for the next 16 or 24 hours, there's gonna be an extra three or four workers inside the MPS room, inside every muscle in your body because of the intensity that the HIT training caused. Now we're getting closer. Now, what happens if we do heavy strength training? Well, now we're going to add six to eight more workers. Duration, 36 to 48 more hours. This is the strongest muscle building signal that the body can receive because you're creating little micro tears, microfiber tears they're called. You apply tension. You make the muscle feel like it's essential. And your body says, send me a full crew. We need a full crew. Keep them here for a while. We've got a lot, lot of damage to take care of. So the crew comes in, six, eight more workers come in every single MPS room in every, in every muscle, and they stay for up to 48 hours. Why does this matter? Because every time you train with intensity, you recruit more workers and give them time to work inside the MPS room. And that's the part that most people are missing. They think I just need to move more, or I just need to eat more protein. But if you don't create enough demand, tension on the body, the body assumes the muscle isn't needed and it quietly starts letting it go. Duration matters more than you think. Let's say you strength train on Monday and you did heavy strength training and you add six to eight more workers to the MPS room, genius, and they stay 48 hours. That means for the next two full days, if you were to do nothing strength training wise, every time you eat enough protein to reach the leucine threshold and turn on the light switch and turn on the MPS room, muscle's going to get built by six to eight workers inside of every single muscle. Now imagine doing that three times a week. You've got active workers in your MPS room for 90% of the week. Compare that to the guy walking every day that has no workers that ever show up, even though he's doing the exact same amount of protein as you are. It's maintenance on a slow decline. This isn't about one perfect workout or one perfect day. It's about stacking those signals week after week, month after month, year after year. I can't stress that to you enough. The power of compounding when it comes to the MPS room is everything. That's how you reverse muscle loss. That's how you protect your metabolism. That's how you slow aging. You don't need more movement. You need better signals. Train with purpose. Recruit the workers and give them time to build. Your body isn't waiting for more effort. It's waiting for a stronger message. Tell your muscles they matter. Send in the workers and watch what happens next. Subscribe, leave a comment, and help this content reach more people. The algorithm listens, but more importantly, so does your mind.